Trainiacs who want to get better at swimming can uh, get that drill program for free. It's not very central. We have a central park, which is awful. Feder, 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 Feder Confederation. What's up, Trainiacs? Happy Canada Day to any Canadian Trainiacs out there. About 5.7K into a, well, I think this is exactly halfway, this is my turnaround point. It's Canada Day and this here is Assiniboine Park. It's like our version of, uh, what would it be? Central Park? It's not very central. And we have a central park, which is awful. It's our big park and it is happening here. I'll look around the place, see what's happening and then uh, head home. That there was a 11.16 kilometer run in 47 minutes, 55 seconds, which works out to a <laughs> recovery time, 57 hours. Apparently, I'm not yet fully recovered from the long swim. 4.18 per kilometer pace. I was struggling at the end. More rest. Oh, you know what? I released on Facebook the other day that I just realized on the run that I haven't talked about in YouTube, which is wild because all these videos are designed for YouTube first, Facebook second. Brain is sharp this week, is the swim drill program from the coaching programs that I set up in a way that all of y'all trainiacs who want to get better at swimming can uh, get that drill program for free. Let me go put on a shirt and my laptop and I'll show you. In the words of drunk Mr. Rogers, what do you mean I can't take my sweater off? I'm hot! For better ratings, you should have a shot of NTK every episode. There. Clickbait. Alright, so by popular demand, a few people had mentioned, hey, have you ever thought about breaking out the swim training portion of the coaching plans that are $89 to $99 and doing just the swim drills as a separate, like, buy it for $10. And I thought, you know what? Why make people pay like $10? $10 isn't gonna make or break me, but having these swim drills will really help you. Because when I decided that I was gonna take triathlon seriously, I realized that I was struggling immensely in the water. I was fighting it, I was having a hard time breathing, couldn't catch the water, I couldn't catch my breath, I didn't know how to turn. I would end the swim portion of a race just gassed. So I dismantled my entire stroke, went back to the shallow end, and completely started over. As Kim's pulling weeds down there. You see me? Yep. Oh, hi. And what I did was I pieced together a bunch of total immersion swim drills, a bunch of swim drills that I really liked from master swimming, and I started over. Completely started over. Spent about two months practicing all these drills, going from one to the next, and it changed my swimming entirely. All of a sudden I started liking swimming and it became one of the strongest parts of my races. So I figured, let's put these drills out there to help everyone immensely. Good vibes, good karma. So what you can do for starters is go to triathlonterran.com forward slash swim drill program. Yeah, damn right, that's it. You put in your first name, your email address for free, bam. Every day for, I think 15 days, 16 days, you get one of the drills emailed out to you, done. What these drills are is it's a sequence that'll make you breathe easier in the water. It'll become almost involuntary. You won't have to think about it. It'll make you float in the water so that you don't have to spend much effort staying above the water. You don't have to fight it. It'll develop a good stroke that keeps you injury free, makes you fast. And then it gives you some drills towards the end that will reinforce all those good habits. So the first drill here is literally just training your body to start breathing the second that your face goes in the water. And if you don't have to think about that, you're miles ahead of a lot of people. Next drill is a similar drill, but done upright, basically standing, and you sink down and you get comfortable with the thought of being 
underneath the surface of the water. The third drill incorporates both of those, gets you in the habit of still breathing out as soon as you start getting in the water, but then we start getting you into a horizontal position level with the water. The next drill is a very similar drill, but we start getting closer and closer, little bit by little bit towards a full swim stroke by turning you a little. We take those abilities that you now have to breathe easier in the water, float easily, not fight the water, and we start bringing you all across the pool in a kicking motion, still face down, and it's all reinforcing the habits that you built in the first few drills, and you just keep building in incremental little steps until you've got a kick-ass swim stroke. Next drill is called a corkscrew, where you're still kicking across the pool, but then we start incorporating turning onto your back so that turning isn't a struggle and you don't have to think about raising your head out of the water, you're just turning your body really easily to catch a breath. Another variation of corkscrew drills, so we start adding a stroke as you start getting comfortable with that. The eighth drill in here is what I think is probably the most important drill sequence that I can possibly give you. I call it build a stroke and it's taking little tiny bits of sculling, of a single arm catch, of a single arm stroke, of pausing, little tiny bits of building a stroke step by step by step in this five minute video that I use and it helped me immensely. Like if there's one drill, one email in this whole bunch that you open, open that one. It's a keeper. The next drill is called the zipper drill where we take that stroke and we develop a nice high elbow so that you can get your heart, heart, harm, get your arm over waves really easily. You can do this with fins and a lot of these drills, you start with fins so it's nice and easy, slowly take them off. As you can see here, we're getting very close to a full swim stroke, but what we're doing at the front is being able to focus on grabbing the water and pushing yourself forward. Next drill is an exaggerated hip drive so that we, instead of using our arms to try to slap us and rotate side to side, we want to use our core and just move that and have everything else follow. And then we start reinforcing all of those good techniques with a few drills that I still use day to day. We use a touch the board drill where we put a kickboard in behind our butt and in between our legs and as we come out of the water we slap it so that we get a nice full arm stroke. We skull in the next drill and that's basically keeping our hand in touch with the feeling of grabbing a big mitt full of water and pushing it back so that we've got a nice stable platform to push ourselves off with. We incorporate swimming with sculling so that you can have a swim stroke with that full arm catch, that nice mitt full of water that's gonna propel you forward. We've got an underwater recovery so that instead of bringing your arm over the water, you actually bring it up underneath. And what that does is it teaches your shoulder to be steady because if you're going like this, you're gonna feel it. It's gonna pinch, it's gonna hurt, it's not gonna feel very nice. So it's gonna teach you how to keep your shoulder nice and steady and not move around a lot. And after all that, you are going to be well on your way to swimming really confidently. You can join any master's group, probably all around the world, go into any triathlon, not struggle in open water, not feel out of breath. You're gonna be ready to kick the tar out of the bike in the triathlon. You're gonna start liking swimming, I guarantee it after that. Okay, I gotta stop this, last time I didn't. So yeah, if you're struggling with swimming whatsoever, you go to triathlonterran.com forward slash swim drill program and you get all these emailed to you. So yeah, if you want that, it's there for you now. Enjoy. Um, ginormous lunch now. Kim better get back here to pull those weeds. She didn't finish. Hello everyone. Happy Canada Day. Today we celebrate 150 years since Confederation. Better, 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 better Confederation. Ordinary people doing extraordinary things. We can do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I know we can. You are all welcome. And our greatest pride is we've got a long definitive old Canadian long box. You can come here from anywhere in the world. We don't care. You are all welcome in Canada. On behalf of our family, Sophie and I wish you a very happy Canada Day. And we can do it. I know we can.